How many of them are the reason within the reason? This one, when them don't, they use money, they buy money for Nigeria. Like, how we go take survival? Um, of the truth, how are we going to sustain this? You go to the banking hall, they don't have money to give you. I think they can only give you 40000 or 30000 You go to the ATM machine, there's no money there. You can only get like 20 k or 30k and then you end up at the pos you pay to get money in your own country like if you're buying a foreign currency in your country it will make sense that you're buying a foreign currency buying your country's currency in your country oh, it doesn't make any sense oh that's the height of doom like for real and then you are you are left with the option of making transfers on almost every purchases. And then they charge you for all the transfers. The lowest they charge is 26 naira and it's something cobble. In some cases, like depending on the amount, they will charge you 50 plus, 50 naira plus, like more than 50 naira. But the lowest amount you're sending, they are, they are charging you $26 and 80 something cent. Oh, sorry, cobble. So when you are going to buy a lot of things, like you're buying something of up to 300K or 500K, and it's not like you're buying everything from one spot. You're not buying everything from one person. You're going to buy these different things from different shops. Then you make transfer here, you make transfer there, and all of that, paying all those um, transfer charges. And then again, your bank will get suspicion because, oh, You'll be making transfers and then your transfer will not go through anymore. Your transfers will keep failing after a certain amount of transfers. And then you're left with no option than to go home and not buy the things you had in mind when you left your home. So other than the fact that the prices of things are on the high side, like extremely very high, you still cannot even assess your own money to buy them so like i don't understand that's the height of doom and that's going to bring about a lot of hardship the hike in fair prices and the it's not stable you go you buy for today at this amount by the time you go to the gas station the next time the, the price has gone up it's never the same for the five weeks i spent in nigeria i went to the gas station like three times because we would fill the tank when it's finished, like almost getting below half, we go back. I never bought at the same price the three times I went to the gas station. I never bought at the same price. The first time was 8.50. The second time was 9.30. And the third time was about 9, over 9.30. I can't remember the exact amount. So I would fill the tank so, so that at least I'm not coming back tomorrow next. So imagine three times. And it's not just like it's, it's we, on a weekly basis it goes up. It can go up tomorrow. Even before I left Nigeria, yes, it was 1,233 naira for a liter of fuel in Nigeria. How much is minimum wage? Where are the jobs? Like, I don't know why Nigerian presidents are so, like, the people that has been presidents in Nigeria recently, they are the most inconsiderate people that has ever existed. You cannot be ruling with wickedness. You cannot be making life unbearable for people. What would you benefit if everybody starts dying because they, they cannot afford to, to feed? The hardship is just too much. During Jonathan's time, when fuel was 60 something naira, there were a lot of families that could not even feed at that time. Let alone now that fuel is about 1000 plus. I don't know how much now, but it was 1330 naira before I left Nigeria. <sighs> when they used to sell mackerel fish, the biggest one for 350 naira, there were a lot of people that cooked without fish. Now that big mackerel is 3,500. Will those people be able to eat fish now? If they couldn't eat when it was 350. Not, I don't understand though, but hmm, Nigerian leaders, Nigerian leaders, I don't know what they will gain being wicked to their own people. Like, I know when fair price when was going up then in America. But Joe Biden came out and took out taxes on fuel. 
like don't pay taxes anymore when you buy for it during that period just to help people oh nigerian leaders now that time they go raise them but you know it's in god day god day